Jeddah's annual contemporary art festival goes by the unusual name of 2139, inspired by the city's latitude and longitude. National and international artists are invited to the Red Sea City for the week-long event, which was dedicated this year to environmental change under the theme Earth and Ever After. The event is organized by the Saudi Art Council. Our aim as uh, the Saudi Art Council is uh, really uh, to uh, enlighten our society and community uh, with the uh, value of art and the role it can play in human development through uh, appreciating beauty and creating your own questions and looking for answers. Among the works on show was an installation by renowned Saudi artist Sadiq Wazil featuring shopping carts piled on top of each other, a symbol of consumerism according to him. The son of a mechanic, Wazil works mainly with metal, shaping it into powerful sculptures that have been shown at exhibitions around the world. It's not just a work of art, said the artist. It's also linked to my studies because I have a master's degree in agriculture and environment. So this is something that's very close to my heart, the future of the planet. There are a lot of environmental problems, especially with the ozone layer. Laptops, smartphones, selfie sticks and skateboards. This work, meant to look like prehistoric paintings, aims to show how future generations will see today's world. Photographer Madiha al Ajrouj climbed for two hours to capture these pictures. I took this photograph in the desert of Najran at the Sarawat mountain. And actually, Saudi Arabia has the greatest number of petroglyphics, prehistorical, uh, as far as 10,000 years BC. Not only that, that I find it very interesting in one rock we could find layers of drawing from different time periods. Among the other artworks on display this year was this collection of Egyptian film posters on paper tissue boxes dating back to the golden era of Egyptian cinema. There were also lithographs by Lebanon's Ali Sheri and acrylic on canvas illustrations by Syrian artist Boutros al-Mari.